All right, Shalom. Rasta Sari. This is the this is the second part of this particular special report. Right? The 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 jury is about to to go into deliberations. This is a deliberate right NWO New World Order takeover. But it's a deliberate also fulfillment of prophecy. Right? A de, a deliberate fulfillment of of the prophecy that was seen by Johannes, by John, the Revelator. He wrote the book of the seven seals. And we're here in chapter 17, right? We're touching on chapter 17, right? In the book of, uh, in the book of Revelation, right? Um, now, they suppressed the book of Revelation for a long time. But if you read any of the, the Latin, the Vatican documents, they all basically say and agree that Rome and their system, their Nicolaitani system, is Babylon. This is interesting. The, the, the Roman um, or, the, or the Vatican Catholic Jesuit, um, Congratio de Propaganda, de Fide, all of them, basically the Inquisition, right? We're about to, the world is about, this cyclone is about to go under Roman law. I know it seems, it seems far off. But um, if you recall, ones and ones who wrote such works such as this right here, right, the Sunday Law, they had it right, right? They had it right, you know? They had it right. But time, and all that time until these things were fulfilled was a grace period. That grace period is, is just about done. John has given them from here to here, from a certain time to a certain time, forces Unite amid stupendous crisis, a stupening crisis, where it is just, it is just um, 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 a crisis. It's stupefying for folks to try to figure out exactly what's going on. You know, what, what is going on? What is all of this stuff about? What is sequester and sequestration about? I mean, what does this have to do with the budget? What does this have to do with the economy? What does this have to do with, with you and with your family and with your children? What are they sequestering about? And why does this sequestration thing come at the very same time as the conclave? And it's not as though um, Pope uh, Benedicto, as though he died or something like that. He just decided to retire all of a sudden. They said, what is this about? This is about child uh, molestation, and he was going to have an arrest warrant or that. And it's not saying that those things aren't going on. You understand? Many people are getting up and standing up for their right, just like Burhana Selassie, Bob Marley, you understand, and the whalers, the Rastafari said, because that is, that's the voice of God, right? That's the true voice of God and the prophets of God. But let's get forward into sequester. Right, sequester is defined from the late Latin sequestrare, which means to remove, lay aside, separate from Latin sequester, which means trustee. Right, a trustee. We're we're hearing. You remember the other day they said that the that that they made a delay, the conclave when they were the cardinals. That there was this all of a sudden this delay for some unexpected reason. Everyone was wondering, like, what is this about? How come they're doing this? We need. We need um, Subito, Papa Subito, or something like that. We need a, 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 a new Papa. You understand? I mean, just think about the craziness right here. You don't vote for your Heavenly Father, your Abba. You understand? But that's what they do. They're voting for a Papa. And even folks who are not even Roman Catholic, they think this is very important. This is very important for the world, for peace, for the economy because it's about to go under Roman law. In fact, it's already under Roman law. It's a, what is, they're about to externalize the hierarchy. It's what Alice Bailey also spoke about, disciple of Helena Blavatsky, the externalization of the hierarchy. They say all roads lead to Rome, where well, all roads are leading to Rome. And therefore, other things in the government that they rule, and, and you know, like like D.C., the 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 Empire City, the Empire City, these the, these three cities, D.C., Rome, and um, and London. Now, New York is also a part of it, but since things was moved to D.C., it's an auxiliary part. Symbolically, it is part of Babylon too. 
Yovas, and those of us here in New York with Doomberg, Bloomberg, and the nanny state telling you what you're going to eat, what you're going to drink, and what you're going to wear, and all of these things. If this is for your best, it's for your good. You understand? Being like your step pops, like Bloomberg is being like a step pop. So let's get into sequester. Sequester, basically, why we say this has to do with the conclave is because of the meaning of sequester. It means to set off or apart, to separate, segregate, often to segregate or isolate the jury. It means that it's a legal terminology to isolate the jury. So the jury is being isolated right now. These are the cardinals. They said they can't go into the conclave. They can't be locked in. They're going to be locked in, right? They're going to be locked in until they decide who's going to be your new papa, who's going to be the seclorum, the world's papa, right? But they're, they're the jury. They're the trustees for this new world order. And it says during a trial. So it's isolating the jury during a trial, the meaning of sequester. To take, that, that's the first meaning. Now let's look at the second meaning right here. And as we connect it with Revelation, right, and what Johannes, what Johannes, right, right, what John the Revelator saw, it will become very, very much more interesting. And, and that's interesting, but you, can, you should be able to see the connection unless you're still stupefied. Uh, if you're stupefied, then, 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 then so be it. Your name is not written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And notice they're doing this also between the period of Purim. And what does Purim mean? Purim means to roll the dice. Look it up. Purim means dice. It means dice, you know, like, like a crap game. So how, how are they going to vote on the Pope behind clothes? It's a mystery. It's a big mystery. Who's going to be your new daddy? Right? You're not the father. That's when we're going through. They have Maury Povich there. You're not the father. You are the father. You're not the father. You are the father. They're isolating the jury during a trial. Everybody talking about, oh, tribulation, tribulation's about to begin. We're in the great tribulation, the trial, the tribulation. Right? The second meaning is to take and hold, and in parentheses it says property. Property by judicial authority. What is the highest temporal world authority in this world? You think it's your constitution? You are not party. All those who trust in the constitution, you are not party to the constitution. That's why you could talk about the constitution all day and night. And things have been getting worse and worse and worse. And many of the mighty men have lost their hands to fight. Another part of prophecy right there. All right? But they are taking and holding property, your property and your children, right, and you, right, our property, right, according to their systems. You see, if you understood this before and fought against it, if you understand this now and get up and stand up, it might be different for you. But only those who are written in the Lamb's Book of Life can do that. You understand? Um, for safekeeping or as security until a legal dispute is resolved. Look at our video on the meaning of sequester and sequestration. Oh, we, I think we'll call it the sequestration mystery. Yeah, the sequestration and conclave mystery, right? Well, well, that's the first part, looking at what is the meaning of this word, right? What is the meaning of this word? So until this legal dispute is resolved, who is going to take the lead? Is it going to be Lunden? Right, they just had their London Olympics where they showed you all of their 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 demoniac activity. Is it going to be D.C. Right, um, you see what's going on in D.C. They sequester right there in D.C. Right, and um, is it going to be Rome? Obviously, the Pope has made the move. In other words, uh, um, um, Benedict the Sixteenth, he has made that particular move. Right, he's made the move. He's the seventh king. And as the scripture says, as Johannes saw, he would only rule or reign for a short time, for a short period of time, right? Now, it's very interesting when he decided to just, you know, give up the ghosts, so to speak, you know, or become ghosts. He's becoming ghosts. Now, remember, there's a connection now with the tomb of David and the Israelis giving um, the tomb of David to the Vatican, and they're going to have mass there, also connecting with Thessalonians prophecy as well. Thirdly, to take over, to confiscate, to take over. So while everybody is wondering, ooh, ah, look at the Romans, look at the Vatican, look at the popes, look at the cardinals, look at this, uh, what's his name here in New York? Uh, huh? 
No, 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 the the the, the cardinal. O'Connor. O'Con- O'Connor. Huh? O'Connor. Oh, Donnelly or whatever the Connolly Donnelly. You know that guy, Donnelly Duck, right? Um, to take, confiscate, to seize. By authority, they, the, 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 the Roman prelates, the Vatican is the authority of this world order. I mean, it should be obvious why unconsciously people are interested. Something in one's soul, in one's ignorant soul. I say ignorant because they don't know, right? You know, they've been, they've been told not to know. It's a mystery, right? Mystery, Babylon, mother of harlots. Right, um, an abomination of the planet Earth. Now you say, well, a lot of Christians say, I'm not, I'm not a Catholic. Well, what are you? Whatever you probably most likely are, it's it's one of those daughters, one of those harlots that are. Remember, Rome already said. I think it was this Pope Benedict. He said, he said, he said, listen, Rome is your mama, and all of y'all are, are just uh, all of y'all are daughters. You know, I mean, especially from the Western Gentile Christian uh, tradition. So it's to withdraw. The last meaning, the fourth meaning is withdraw to seclude, often used reflexively. So as you go further in sequestration, right, the separation, basically, legally, it's the taking and holding of property, of human. The next property, see, they're taking, they already took the money, right? They've already um, um, imploded the economy and everything. Right? You know, they've already gotten people hooked up where they are deep ended, right, on their system. Right? They already have a lot of systems in, in, in place where they're taking people's children. We just heard about a story where somebody had, had some pictures of their children and at Walmart. Walmart looked at it and said it was child molestation or abuse, and they took the people's children for a month. The people had to spend thousands of dollars and everything else, and there was no kind of sexual. But, but, but they have these. If you see something, say something, right? If you see something, say something. This also matches what the true Messiah has said in his word to his true and faithful um, follower, the true and faithful followers of Yeshua HaMoshiach, of Jesus Christos, right, of Gita Jesus, the real one, not that whitewashed, blonde hair, not, not Caesar Borgias, which is their inside man, all right? Now, it goes on and says, the taking and holding of property pending resolution of a legal dispute, confiscation of profit, property as by court or government action. We see a lot of that going on. It's the process by which a sequestrum forms. In, chemical, in chemistry, it's the close union of ions in solution with an added material so that a stable, soluble complex is produced. And this is what the conclave is about. If we look at the chemical and chem history, chem mystery, we'll see exactly what they're doing. Let's, look, let's read this one more time. In, in, in chemistry, it's the close union. That's what the conclave is about. A close union of all the chief cardinals in solution or resolution with an added material. What do you think that added material is, brothers and sisters? Right? What do you think that added material is? The scripture tells us, John the Revelator, he told us what this added material is. It's the dragon. It's Satan. And, 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 and don't, you, listen, you don't have to believe me. We don't want you to believe me. We want you to know the truth for yourself. Look right here. If, if you look at this, this is one example from, from, from Gregory the 13th. It's him who changed um, laws and times. Right? The Bible tells you they would think to change laws and times, and they have changed laws and times. In fact, daylight savings time just happened. And all of our time over here in the so-called Americas is based on Greenwich, a little town, not, not Greenwich Village, but Greenwich, a little town in, 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 in Great Britannia, right, in the Great Beach, right, in, in England. Because, remember, it's, it's the, it's the uh, uh, empire cities, you know, the empire cities, the ring of power. Check that video out right there. It tried to tell once, and generally speaking, it is accurate in, except for the part about, they don't admit the, the, 
the true race of the Beta Israel of black people, because black people are going to have to realize and recognize that, especially the diaspora. But what this whole conclave is about is a close union of irons, of irons in solution with an added material. You mean Satan? Exactly, right? So that a stable, soluble complex is produced. Once they are able to produce this solid, stable complex, then we will have, right, the National Sunday Law. 